So this is a very special case of uh, revision tympanoplasty. Uh, this patient has been operated several times and uh, by another surgeon. I don't have any file regarding the previous operation. So this is a left ear. Um, we know that there is an immediate failure following the last operation. Uh, and I'm exploring now the middle ear cleft. This is uh, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6. And I've, I've already um, elevated the tympanometal flap. You can see here this cartilage uh, interposition here as a, uh, as, as, a uh, as a graft of the tympanic membrane, I guess. <coughs> and um, I've, it's quite difficult here to understand what's going on. So we need to find the, the, the uh, landmarks. So what we can see here is the promontory and the round window niche at the moment. That's the only thing we can see. And the other window is completely covered by probably, which was the uh, incurs transposition, but it's a really big one. Uh, so um, we need to remove this. And one of the problems that I have is that this patient had uh, um, a post-operative uh, facial palsy last time. Uh, so, of course, I'm, I'm working with the facial monitoring. And the problem is to remove this big transposition, which was made as a whole like this. So, there we go. Now, I can remove it. And I don't even know what's going on underneath. If I see the uh, stapes or anything else, so I can remove that now. I don't think there is any residual stapes here, pass. And I'm I'm gonna see if I can get the malleus back in order to perform a better uh, osseoculoplasty, a better with better stability. So this is the malleus syndrome, I think. So we need to dissect that to get the, the malleus more posterior. So I will try to... Tableau nappe, s'il vous plaît. Because of course that would make a huge difference if I can use the, the malice back. Can you manger marteau, s'il vous plaît? Rather than placing the prosthesis directly underneath the cartilage, I don't want to put any uh, malice replacement prosthesis here because I don't like the aspect of the mucosa, which is a little bit thick. I don't know. I will see. So you see the mallet is going really anterior. And you can see really anterior mallet. But I think it's going on well. I keep going on dissecting it. Here and more anterior. Ciseau. Ciseau. Okay, now I think it's fine, and now I need to relocate the malus. This is a really good indication for the Maddie's relocation technique. Crochet, uh, direct, s'il vous plaît. I will just be sure that the uh, time step on it is cut. And now I can relocate the Maddie's. Crochet. <clears throat> this is really thick membrane here.
because the, the previous surgeon was using a cartilage grafting but put a lot of cartilage inside so it makes the things more complicated can this be I use this as a thick thick tissue here with this cartilage plate s'il vous plaît you can see how thick is this cartilage can we s'il vous plaît encore Because we have this history, history, history of facial policy, I don't want to go too further anterior, so I will leave it like this. But there's a huge tissue here. Okay, let's try to relocate more the maris now. Crochet out, Tonko. Crochet out. Okay, now you see it's fine. I have it over the oval window which is there and there's something covering the oval window. Okay, so can me now what I need to do is to dissect the uh, oval window. You see this mat is coming back again anterior that's the problem that I have it's gonna be a very short distance I guess from Mali to oh, late. I will see that later now we need to dissect the oval window niche in order to see stop if we can expose the uh, foot plate can we? So we need to identify again the different landmarks that we have. So of course the fascia nerve is on my right, right here. I don't really see it and I don't want to see it more because of the history. This is huge tissue, very thick. So I Try to remove that, it will help me to have a better exposure. You can see the promontory here. So I need to pull a little bit this tissue which is covering the other window because I don't know even if the foot plate is there or not. Oh, here we go. This is the full plate. You see the full plate here, and there is a. Yeah, I can see there is an opening of a full plate. I'm going to show you this. Probably a fracture, can lay. A fracture of the foot plate at the posterior part of a foot plate. This is why the previous surgeon was using some tissue, thick tissue, to cover the foot plate. You can see here. I said to you, big.
Yeah, full plate is mobile, and there is a kind of a fracture here, so I need to cover it with the vein. So we're going to take a vein, and I will put a prosthesis, and from that is to full plate. But I, I prefer to crochet to protect the, the, the full plate with the vein, because I feel that this full plate is very fragile. But let's try now to measure the distance. Mesureur, s'il vous plaît. Mesureur long. This is a 5 to 8 millimeter long stake is measuring rod. But I think it's going to be very short. Yeah, very short. Ça ira pas le petit. Mesure en normal. So I'm going to use a short, shorter measuring device running from 3.5 to 4.5. Je prendrai une veine, hein? So this is uh, 4.5, so it's going to be very short, a 4.5 millimeter long torque, 4.50. Okay, we're going to stop the recording at the moment, I, I'm going to take a vein graft and we'll be back for a vein graft in the position and the placement of the torque. So the vein graft has been taken, I, I, maybe the, the vein would be a little bit large, but I, I prefer to have a large one. The problem is that I have a very small gap here. Uh, and I really need to see the dislocation here of the full plate also anteriorly. Uh, so there's a lot of trauma, I think, during the previous operation. So this is why I need to reinforce the full plate. So let's let's take the, the, the vein just to cover it. But the vein, is, the problem is it's bleeding now. And the bleeding is going to be a problem for me because I don't see exactly this uh, area clearly. vein so this is a thick one also but I don't want to press it I just want to have a really nice one to protect the full plate because otherwise if we if we don't put a vein graft there is a risk of dislocating the uh, full plate more and uh, post-operative dizziness so I know that the gap will be small but I think we need to protect the full plate now it's bleeding so that's the problem here Okay, I'm going to put the vein here. We're facing the intima of the vein. The gap is there. So I know that I need to place the distal tip, the shoe of the shaft of the prosthesis there. Because I'm going to use an adduction appetite uh, head prosthesis with a titanium flex, uh, sorry, uh, a titanium shoe. Crochet I need to get the manage back. Crochet It's quite a tricky case, in fact. There we go. Can this be played? So let's place the, the vein in a good position now. And I know the gap is there, but you see all the, the whole full plate is completely uh, protected here now. Okay, so now let's. <coughs> cut the procedure at 4.5, which is clearly a very short torque. Uh, usually it's more around 6, 6.5. 4.5 is a very short one. 5, 4. So 3.5. So this is 5, 4. And now 3.5 to get a 4.5 long procedure. So it's the minimum length that we can make. We cannot make it shorter. Because it's specifically, you see the proximal part of the shaft coming through the prosthesis head. Okay, so this is now uh, 4.5. Right, okay, we have a good one now. And now we need to place it. And of course, I'm not going to use the sarastic band because there's no more stapes. Aspiration. So the next step here is to, uh, this is the problem with the vein, I took the vein, I don't need my implant, that's the problem, you see, 
Vous l'avez Oui. Can they? You see, the problem is the sucker. I, I used a, a, a big uh, sucker, which is too, was too big. So I need to reposition the, the, the vein first. Un neuf, s'il vous plaît. And then I will place the prosthesis again. That's the problem because I, I, I have a very small gap, as I said, and a large vein. So, of course, this is the problem. And the blood is in the middle of the field also, making all these things quite complex and tricky. Do I have a situation anywhere? I know that. And the, and the, and the, the malice, crochios. The malice is always coming back anteriorly, so I need always to, I always need to pull it again. You see how it is? Not easy to to get it back. But that's important to keep going on like this, to be sure that we are just replacing it in a nice position. Otherwise, it would be a problem to place the prosthesis. So it's ble bloody, and you see how it bloody it is. But that's the way it is. Okay, allez, la prothèse maintenant, s'il vous plaît. Oui. All right, so now we, what we need to do is to place the prosthesis itself first, placing, trying to insert the shaft, and then see what I can do with the malice handle. The first point is to place the shaft. la changer, s'il vous plaît. Can small small gap you see how difficult it is so first I don't care about the prosthesis head just the shaft first the shaft you see I'm getting the, the vein always but still it's good it goes down and I think it's fine so now I need to be sure that everything will be stable uh, too much anterior this is the good position, so now I'm going to reposition the, the, shaft, the flap and see how it goes when I re-elevate the flap. And now you see we have a nice condition, I think. Well, not a perfect condition, but that's the best we can do. Final vertical position of the prosthesis. Enough, s'il vous plaît. <coughs> Vein graft protecting the full plate. And a nice contact between the malleus sandal and the flap. The tympanic membrane, I mean. So that's pretty good. And that's, I would say, that's the best we can do. So it's a really tricky case. You see the, the vein protecting the, the full plate here. So it's, it's fine. And it goes down. All right. So let's. I just want to be sure about the position. Okay. Oh, with several. Okay, I think it's fine. So I'm going to put the mirror cell now. That is it. And see how it goes. We'll remove this plug uh, on the fifth day. And I hope we can have some at least partial improvement. Uh, we have nearly 100 dB loss here, 90 dB. We have a bond conduction around 50. So if we could improve that, as much as we can in order to give him the possibility to use a hearing aid which is not possible at the moment this would be very nice so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it uh, hope to see you soon again bye bye